Thank you. I'm here again. So, by this time, uh, today's lecture, we are going into the practical for the beginner. Before you can drum anything in drum at all, there are things you're supposed to know. You can't just go into it. You have to know some certain things. You know the elementary of it before you can go into it proper. That will make you to know where you are. When you become a professional, you will know where you are coming from. Firstly, uh, talking drum, before you can beat it, we normally use a uh, common key, which is uh, key C notation. In this key C notation, we make use of do, re, mi. Key C notation, do, re, mi. That is the three key, Yoruba. You know, in Yoruba, we call something ami. When you talk, that's ami. You put it on the top of it, that will make it different from other tone that look alike. So, do, re, mi. This do, re, mi, you can play it in many devices. You can use it, do, re, mi. You can use it, re, mi, do. Mi, do, re. Re, do, mi, 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 do. Something like that. By the time we go proper into the practical, we know. Now, I want to let you to know how you can carry your talking drum before you can beat it. There are things you're supposed to know. Firstly, when you want to draw, at times your drum will just sound as if it's too hard. Firstly, before you can drum, you have to tie your talking drum like this. You tie it like this. Like this. When you tie it like this, you cannot beat it like this. You can never drum like this. The sound that is not the normal sound for the talking drum. When you want to drum, you want to go into it to give you that three, uh, three sign. That is do re mi. You have to lose it. By the time you lose it, you do it. You lose it. You Press it like this to make it to balance. Then you carry the soda, the oja. You put it to your soda. You can hear you very listen very attentively. You will hear this sound now and make use of it. What I want to beat now is do. If it does not give you do, that means that the talking drum has never come to the level that you can play it. Can you hear it? It gives do. Do. Before you can beat do, you have to release your shoulder, your armpit like this, raise it up, don't let it to touch anything there. Don't let it to touch the usher, usher is the one that you are using to control it. By the time you release it like this, eat it with the gongo or ba, it will give you do. The second one, when you just put your hand down your shoulder, your armpit, lay it on it, small like this, it will give you ray. By the time you are doing like this, this is <laughs> Firstly, <laughs> when you hit it again, <laughs> but before you can go, you cannot just do like this. No. But when you just raise your hand like this, put your your finger this, your finger like this, put it like this. Use it to control it. By the time you control it, you see I can move it. I can move it. You can see. That I'm moving it and it is moving. So you just eat it. It gives you dough. Put your hand again, just release it on it. Small. It gives you ray. The last one is me. Just stop where you get your ray. Just press your armpit again. To give you me, that is where we are going now. You see, can you hear it? By the time you release your hand, just put it again, just let it to touch that also once. It will give you a ray, ray, press it again. Me, that's. I'm very sure by the time you practice this one, two, three times, you'll be able to get it. Hear it again. 
release your hand like this, give you dough. The second one, just lay it on it, small. Lay, then the last one, press it down. Me, I think by the end of this lecture, you should be able to do it very well, better than the way I'm doing it. Thank you.